Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi has reiterated China's commitment to strengthening cooperation with Africa at the UN General Assembly. Speaking at the fourth round of political consultations between Chinese and African foreign ministers, Foreign Minister Wang Yi urged for cooperation and understanding. He said China and Africa should synergize their development strategies to promote self-development. The 50 foreign ministers, all representatives of the African countries, presented their gratitude to China's long-term assistance. They also extended willingness to support the Belt and Road Initiative. The foreign ministers unanimously adopted the joint communique of the fourth round of political consultations between Chinese and African foreign ministers. Africa is an important direction and a cooperative partner of the construction of the Belt and Road initiated by President Xi. Guided by the principle of achieving shared growth through consultation and collaboration, China and Africa should promote policy coordination, facilities connectivity, unimpeded trade, financial integration and people-to-people -people bonds. We can complement each other's advantages by synergizing our development strategies. In the process, actual conditions of each country need to be taken into consideration to ensure that every country can benefit from joint construction of the Belt and Road. Well, let's get you more now on that. And I'm joined live from Beijing by Hannah Ryder. She's the China representative of the China Africa Advisory. She's also the founder and CEO of Development Reimagined, the first Kenyan wholly foreign-owned enterprise in China. Hannah, thank you for joining us on Africa Live. So what's the significance of those meetings between Foreign Minister Wang Yi and African foreign ministers at the UN General Assembly? Well, the significance is that they, uh, these are the consultations in preparation for the next uh, forum on China-Africa cooperation, which has existed since the year 2000. Uh, it's a specific forum for African ministers and uh, Chinese, and the Chinese ministers to get together and uh, discuss what kind of cooperation they can uh, take forward. And they uh, will meet again next year in 2018. So this is in preparation for all of that. Well, Hannah, China is now Africa's uh, largest trade uh, and investment partner. So how important is Sino-African relations for China's government? China-Africa relations, I believe, is very important for the Chinese government, especially going forwards. In particular, the China, uh, China's economy needs to shift, and it is shifting from being a very large manufacturing base to becoming a uh, a more service-based and innovation-based economy. So China needs to enhance cooperation with Africa so that uh, many of the manufacturing firms can also locate in the African countries, they can con continue their production there and to start a new relationship effectively with the African continent. Well, Foreign Minister Wang Yi spoke of the Chinese dream and the African dream. So what more can you tell us about that and achieving those dreams for both countries? Well, I think the African dream is fairly similar to the Chinese dream at least you know, 20 or 30 years ago, which is to really uh, transform structurally and to increase manufacturing in the continent, to increase jobs, increase production, increase development. And so the more that the China can do to support African countries to do this, the better. Actually, there's probably three key things that they need to do. First of all, uh, uh, China and Africa need to talk more, to provide more information. The Chinese government can provide more information about the agreement so far through the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation. The Chinese government can also provide uh, increasing incentives for, uh, for investment, foreign direct investment to go into the African countries to realize that African dream. And last of all, the Chinese government can also uh, improve the openness of the Chinese economy to innovation and companies, enterprises from African countries like my own, but many others as well. Many businesses want to, uh, in, to find their way into China and that will also increase the, improve the trade balance between China and Africa. Uh, many countries in Africa have a poor trade balance with China and they want to improve this. So this would also achieve that goal. Right, Hannah Ryder joining us there from Beijing. Thank you.